Since Daniel Craig declared his departure from the iconic role of James Bond, speculation has been rife about his successor. Despite the next Bond film, Bond 26, potentially not entering production until 2024 or later due to Hollywood strikes, rumors are circulating about potential candidates. Fans are eager to learn who will step into the shoes of Ian Fleming's legendary character. What we do know is that the next Bond is likely to deviate from the familiar 007. Following the timeline of No Time to Die, James Bond is presumed dead, and Lashana Lynch's character Nomi has taken on the MI6 agent number. However, the next Bond movie might choose to disregard this established timeline and exist in a different Bond universe altogether. The idea that Sean Connery's Bond from the 1960s and Pierce Brosnan's Bond from the 1990s are the same person has always been a bit perplexing. Before delving into the extensive list of potential candidates, it's essential to recognize three key points emphasized by producers Barbara Broccoli and Michael Wilson. The next Bond should be British, young enough to sustain the role for at least 15 years. Nevertheless, as Agent 007 himself understands, rules are open to bending, if not outright breaking. On the occasion of the James Bond franchise turning 60, we've considered actors born in the Commonwealth, those in their 60s and 70s, and yes, even female actors. The primary criterion remains whether the actor can bring the required gravitas, style, and charm to embody Britain's most celebrated secret agent. Aaron Taylor Johnson Apart from his charisma, Bond possesses a penchant for adrenaline, coupled with destructive and promiscuous tendencies. British actor Taylor Johnson adeptly embodies this role, drawing on his experience from portraying the villain Ray Marcus in the 2016 psychological thriller Nocturnal Animals, which earned him a BAFTA nomination for Best Supporting Actor that year. At 32, Johnson is recognized for diverse roles such as Dave Lazuski in the action comedy Kick-Ass, Pietro Maximoff in Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron, and a wisecracking hitman in Bullet Train. His versatility is evident, showcasing his ability to navigate the dark, justice-seeking aspect as well as the quick-witted, idealistic facets of the iconic character 007. James Norton he has portrayed a brutal sociopath in Happy Valley, a tipsy vicar in Grant Chester, and a con man in Rogue Agent. Hailing from North Yorkshire, the 37-year-old actor falls within the upper age range for the ideal Bond. Yet his intense gaze and alluring smile firmly place him among those capable of delivering both sex appeal and action prowess. Norton's unconventional journey, starting from theology school and exploring Buddhism before fully committing to acting, could infuse a soulful dimension into the super spy character. In his role in the miniseries McMafia, he donned a tuxedo, mastered martial arts, and spoke Russian, showcasing skills that align seamlessly with the requirements for the next Bond. Henry Cavill Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Nope, it's James Bond. While Henry Cavill is widely recognized for his portrayal of Superman in the DC Extended Universe, he has also showcased his spy skills in various roles. He played international agent Napoleon Solo in The Man from U.N.C.L.E., portrayed the evil assassin August Walker, John Lark, in Mission Impossible Fallout, and assumed the iconic character Sherlock Holmes in the Enola Holmes films. Cavill's action-packed resume extends to performing his own stunts as the lead in Netflix's The Witcher. Beyond his action prowess, Cavill possesses charming good looks that could easily complement the Bond character. Despite nearing 40, one can only imagine him aging like fine wine in the next decade. However, there's a potential drawback as he might be too closely associated with his Superman persona, making it challenging for audiences to accept him in another iconic role. Dev Patel While there might not be a direct Gawain to James Bond pipeline, if Dev Patel were to take on the role of 007, it could offer the franchise the reinvention that Bond producers seem to be seeking. Patel, known for his role in The Green Knight, has showcased his potential as an action star, particularly through his portrayal of David Lowry's conflicted hero. This makes him a compelling candidate to step into the black suit and pursue adversaries. Additionally, at the age of 32, the BAFTA winner is young enough to carry the franchise for several decades. And let's not overlook the fact that while it might be no time to die, Patel's mustache is certainly to die for. Tom Hardy In addition to Tom Hiddleston, another Tom whose name frequently emerges in discussions about the next James Bond is Tom Hardy. While the A-lister's schedule may be too packed to commit to a decade or more as 007, he has already established himself as a bona fide action star. 
Hardy has successfully tackled challenging roles in films such as Warrior, The Revenant, Mad Max Fury Road, and more. Notably, he even took on the role of breaking Batman's back in The Dark Knight Rises and is set to face off against Spider-Man as Venom in the near future. Hardy's real-life jiu-jitsu skills could prove beneficial for Bond's hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes against villains. However, at 45, he is rapidly aging out of the preferred age range for the character to endure a lengthy portrayal. Jacob E. Lordy After Daniel Craig's impressive 15-year run, there's a call for a Bond that resonates with the younger generation, bringing 007 back to his roots as a professional debonair psychopath. Jacob E. Lordy, the 6'5 Aussie with a commanding presence and an undeniable menace seen in Euphoria and the Kissing Booth trilogy, seems like an ideal fit. Playing Elvis Presley in Sofia Coppola's upcoming film adds arthouse credibility to his resume. E. Lordy stands out as a distinctive but still largely uncharted screen presence, making him a perfect blank canvas for an effective reboot. At just 25 years old, he has ample time to lead the franchise into the future with the potential for numerous new films. Pierce Brosnan It's not without precedent for Bond actors to return after a hiatus. Sean Connery reprised his role for Diamonds Are Forever in 1971 after George Lazenby's less successful attempt in On Her Majesty's Secret Service in 1969. Pierce Brosnan's abrupt departure from the James Bond role, despite starring in four financially successful 007 films, remains a sore point for many fans. There's lingering hope among fans that the 69-year-old Irish actor might one day make a comeback to the franchise in a standalone adventure, akin to Hugh Jackman's late-period Wolverine film, Logan. Considering Brosnan's popularity in the role and the success of his final Bond film, Die Another Day, as the highest-grossing entry in the series at that time, it's evident that his appeal as Bond was never in doubt. With his striking silver hair and enduring rugged sexiness, Brosnan still looks fantastic. Since parting ways with Bond, he has delivered some of the best performances of his career in films such as Roman Polanski's The Ghost Rider, the Mamma Mia movies, and the AMC series The Sun. Perhaps now is the opportune moment to grant him a respectful swan song worthy of his talents and renew his license to kill. Margot Robbie Former James Bond actor George Lazenby has voiced his preference for Margot Robbie to take on the iconic role of 007. Lazenby, who portrayed the spy in the 1969 film On Her Majesty's Secret Service, suggested Robbie as a potential candidate for the role in an interview with The Sun. Both Lazenby and Robbie hail from Australia. Expressing support for the idea of a female James Bond, Lazenby remarked, I would rather see a woman on screen than a man, so it might be a good idea having a woman play James Bond. I think it's a good idea. I mean, why not? There's an Australian actress who's over here that I was just listening to on the television today, Margot Robbie. Lazenby praised Robbie's confidence, stating, She comes across like she's very confident. If you can pull that off, people will believe you. While Lazenby only starred in one Bond film, he has continued his acting career, and his journey is explored in the 2017 Hulu documentary, Becoming Bond. Thanks for tuning in to our exploration of potential candidates for the next James Bond in Bond 26. Who do you think would make the perfect 007? Are you leaning towards a classic choice or excited about the possibility of a new fresh face taking on the iconic role? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all things Bond. Until next time, keep the spy spirit alive.